Hi and welcome back. All of us have hit quite hard on Boeing with their problems with the 737 MAX 8 series. Rolls-Royce, we've hardly mentioned, but they, the engine manufacturing division, have a massive problem. They build the Trent 1000 engine. It's an amazing beast. Some of the statistics about it are just mind-boggling. The Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 Type Turbofan Origin United Kingdom Manufacturer Rolls-Royce PLC First run 2006 Major applications Airbus and Boeing 787 Cost $41.7 million US dollars each. Incredibly, the fan blades in the hot section are grown from a single metallic crystal. They're partially hollow for cooling and have the iconic Christmas tree mounting points. Each blade costs approximately the same price as an average house. But unfortunately, just like Boeing, Rolls-Royce have this problem. And I'd like to define this problem as a single word. There's a brilliant word in the English language, which is hubris. If I get my hands right, <laughs> hubris. Pride before a fall. Rolls-Royce is one of the world's leading engineering companies designing and developing high technology power solutions based on very efficient engines. These are used for applications on land, at sea and in the air. Our engineering strength is built on two key technology platforms, the gas turbine and the piston engine. So how do they work? In the case of the gas turbine on an airliner, air is sucked in via the large front fan. The majority of the air is directed around the engine as pure thrust. The rest enters the engine and is squeezed through compressors consisting of a series of blades. Pressure increases at each stage as the air is squeezed. In the combustion chamber, the air is mixed with fuel and ignited. The hot air explosion is directed towards the back of the engine, generating more thrust and rotating the turbines, which in turn are linked to the front fan and compressors. Rolls-Royce, creating better power for a changing world. Now, I'm sure they didn't intend that the Trent 1000 engine had these problems, but the problems they have are massive. Here are some photographs of a blown up Trent 1000 engine that exploded over Italy just a few days ago. Red hot metal raining down from the sky and some pieces so heavy they pierced car roofs. Many airlines are affected by the Trent 1000 issue and it's meant a lot of money spent on checking them. Thank you, aircraft mechanics. You're the stars, you keep us flying. Here's a statement from Rolls-Royce, which is very interesting. Notice the guy uses the wonderful term we're 300% better. What does that mean? <laughs> I'm here in a Rolls-Royce maintenance facility in Singapore, where over the coming months, we'll be working to address an issue we've identified with some of our Trent 1000 jet engines. As part of the work, we will be inspecting and, if necessary, replacing blades within the engine's compressor. We're also working very hard to increase the capacity of our maintenance facilities across the world. Over the past two years, we have increased the capacity by more than 300%. It is also worth noting that the latest version of the engine is not affected by these measures. The Rolls-Royce team in this region and across the world is focused on supporting all of our customers and doing all we can to minimize any disruption. Thank you. I hope they fix it. 
uh, because they're incredible engines and they're flying on some of the world's most fuel efficient type aircraft like the um, A380, the A350 and the Dreamliner all use these Trent 1000 engines. The latest report is that Rolls-Royce have redesigned the metallurgy in the fan blades. What do I know? Very little. And the corrosion problem is getting better. But sadly, Trent 1000s have been blowing up all over the sky. Get it together, guys. I hope you fix it. Do not rely on your hubris, pride before a fall, because we know the truth is out there. Thank <laughs> you.